This is what we generally agree an atom looks like, right? I mean, it's obviously an artist's rendering, the artist in this case being myself, but still, this is what an atom looks like. But how did we get to this drawing? And were there other options? Because yes, there were so many other atomic models and they are all completely insane, so let me walk you through them. The first one on our list was the front runner before the nucleus was discovered, and that's the plum pudding model. Generally attributed to J.J. Thompson, this was an atomic model that imagined the atom was a positive sphere with electrons embedded at regular intervals, kind of like raisins in a plum pudding, making it overall neutral. The benefit of this model was it was extremely stable. If an electron were somehow displaced, the rest would settle back into their original positions or pretty close to their original positions. Then we have John William Strat's version of the plum pudding model. This is a version of the plum pudding model with so many electrons that they effectively formed a vibrating fluid overlapping the positive electron sphere. English physicist J.H. Jeans had a model where the vibrating electrons were the cause of emitted light. British mathematician G.A. Schott had a vibrating model with electrons expanding to explain emitted light. One really great one comes from German physicist Johannes Stark. His Archean model had the atom basically made of tiny magnets with the electron being the negatively charged pole arranged in a closed loop. And then there was the Saturnian model proposed by Japanese physicist Hantaro Nagaoka. The Saturnian model was the one with a mass in the middle. So when Ernst Rutherford discovered the nucleus, the Saturnian model became the going model. There's obviously a lot more going on inside the atom and a lot more to say about the discovery of the atom and the nucleus and the electron and the proton and the neutron all of which I've gone into detail on in my latest YouTube video. You can check it out at the link in my description.